All right, it's me here. So we just got done installing the AC output wire. Okay, the main wire, the one that goes to the circuit breaker panel. Um, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the AC input, okay? This one should be easier, okay? <laughs> so what Hades Omega is gonna use for wiring, bam, an extension cord, okay? Is that is that code compliant? Is that legal? No, I don't think so. I don't think it is, but but that's what Will Prowse did, okay? So so like to make a, a fast, a quick system, you know, he used a, a, a extension cord. So this is a 12 backslash three outdoor and indoor extension cord okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use the um the the what is it there's a receptacle and plug okay this is the plug okay we're going to use the plug for this it's, it's an extension cord it has a receptacle and a plug but we're going to use the plug so we can plug this into the outlet here okay to draw power when when the battery bank is empty okay or when it, when this thing needs more power okay um all right so i got this from Amazon, suggested by Will Prouse. Okay, I got it from his uh, do-it-yourself solar solar project website. Um, it's made by Intertech, and it's a 25-foot black, 125-volt, 15-amp uh, cable. So, oh, it says it's only it, it can only handle 1,875 watts. So, okay, this is a 3,000-watt inverter, man. So. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know if this is going to be safe to use, man. Maybe we need a... But I'll tell you this now. You cannot find any more heavy duty cap, heavier duty cable than this, okay? Um, but but it is a 12 gauge, okay? So if you... Uh, 12 gauge? This is a 6, yeah? Yeah, this is a 6 gauge. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. That's a good question. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, so so this is, the, this is why I'm going to say this is safe to use because... The outlets are connected to a breaker, okay? So if you overload the outlet, um, if you overload the outlet and this outlet is is safe to use with this wire, okay? Um, if you overload it, um, it, it will trip the breaker for the house, okay? The house breaker will trip if you if you overload the outlet, all right? So um, so it is, it, I, eh, Hades Mega will say, I think it's safe to use, <laughs> okay? It's 12 gauge. It's, it's rated for that outlet, okay? So if this gets too hot, the breaker will trip, okay? Hopefully before it catches on fire. And then, uh, and yeah, so I think we should be fine. Um, hopefully. That's what I want to say. All right. <laughs> but yeah, if, 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 we, if we wind up drawing too much power, the breaker will trip. That's the that's the good thing, okay? So I so I would say this is still safe to use, and and yeah, we don't need a breaker, we don't have to have a breaker because one we got a breaker right here. I don't know which I don't know what this breaker is for, you know, but I think it's for if you exceed the output of the of the inverter, it'll trip or something. I'm not sure, um, but this is a 40 amp breaker. You this 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 unit will only draw 40 amps, okay? So um, so which is it's overkill for my freaking uh thing uh we could pull a lot more power but uh but we you have to have more than one okay that that's just the limitation of this inverter it can only pull that much power okay so yeah this is actually a 100 amp panel by the way <laughs> you get this one this panel is equipped to handle 100 watts but uh with the six gauge wire you can pull 50 amps okay that's why we got we got this because the because this the solar panel wires are six six gauge so well yeah uh, we're gonna have fun uh run, running that wire next <laughs> okay but anyway we're gonna make the AC input wire now, okay? So let's go. Let's go open this guy up. Oh yeah, that's a meaty wire. Hopefully it's a good one, man. All right. Like I said, that's what you don't want. You don't want to start a fire with a bad extension cord. I have a bunch of extension cords in my garage too that I could have used, but I didn't want to, you know, cut them up. But uh, we will use this, and then we'll have an extra outlet wire. We can use it for something else. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's go take it out somewhere and unfurl this man. Is this area is just getting so messy right now? <laughs> okay, there's our extension cord. It is really heavy, man. This is a heavy. This is the real deal, man. <laughs> it's heavy duty. Okay, we're not going to use this end. We're going to use the other end actually. So, just pull this out here. Okay, and we're probably only going to use a few feet of it. So, okay, so we're going to run this actually. So, like I said. Um, I want it, I actually want it long enough where we can run a generator, okay? If we needed to. 
Um, so I want to say if, let's say if we wanted to run the generator outside the house, then we could um, up to here, how about this, okay? So we'll go run this extension cord to the inverter, all right, to out here, okay? And then when, and then we'll cut it. Okay, but really, it, it's probably going to be twice as long than it needs to be, okay? Because really, it's only going to connect to, like, right here or something, okay? All right. Okay, wow. I uh, I wound up using, like, half of it. <laughs> okay. So, it's a good thing. Uh, so, uh, I got it out here, and I'm running here. So, that's this is just in case if I want to run a generator to power the garage, we can do it, okay? Um, in, a, in a state of emergency, because I do have a portable generator here. It's only 2,000 watts, though. Um, but yeah, if, if the battery bank runs out of power, you can draw power from this, okay? That's a good thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got it running from here to here, around this thing here. Man, this is a beefy extension cable, okay? All the way here, okay? And then it's gonna go up, go up to here, okay? So I wound up cutting most of it. So we'll probably cut it like right here, okay? Hopefully that's enough. I think that should, I think, I think already, we already have like too much. Okay, so, so we'll cut it like right here. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll cut through this extension cord. <laughs> it's super thick, man. I don't think this is going to do it, man. Oh, did it. Nice. All right. There it is. Okay, so now all I got to do is fish, figure out how much I need in there. Okay, so we got this much, and it's going to go all the way over here. It's a good thing this is more flexible than this stuff. This stuff is like just solid stranded wire. This is, this is many, many, many strands of wire, okay? Okay, so you can see in the wire there's a green, a white, and a black, okay? The white's the neutral, the black's the live, and the green is the ground, okay? So I'm going to go strip this just like I stripped this jacket here, okay? So probably somewhere around there okay and then we'll get those wires out of there okay i'm just stripping the car the wire very slowly it's 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 hard to do because this thing is so thick but it has to be thick man we're moving a lot of wire i'm being very careful not to damage the wires inside so I cut some of the wire already down, let's see. No more than that. Okay, so there you go. That's the wires right there. And I'm gonna go strip them and then we're gonna stick them in there. This would be a lot easier than the other one. In fact, I could just use some regular wire strippers for this. <laughs> I'm go get some. Okay, so I'm just gonna wire it the same way. Black is gonna go here, okay? No, 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 no. I was thinking, I'm thinking of DC. No, the black doesn't go. The green goes here, okay? Green goes on the left. The black is in the middle. And the neutral is on the right, okay? The white is in the... <laughs> Okay? Man, I like, yeah, I totally, I... I was thinking DC, man. Like, oh, DC is the black, man. It's the ground. <laughs> nope. Gonna shake them, shake it, tighten it, shake it, tighten much easier than the other one. Shake it, okay, shake it. Okay. 
Okay, should be good. Very nice. Very happy. So now, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go put another one of these clamps right here. Okay. Yep. Yeah, they're either too big or they're too small. <laughs> what am I gonna do, man? <laughs> All right, congratulations. You did it, Hayes Omega. I have installed the AC output and the AC input for my Grow Watt 3000 watt inverter, okay? There it is. Let me lose it. Okay, there it is. So, yeah, let's double check this. Ground, live, neutral, white, right? Black, white, green. All right, yep, that looks good. All right, and there's there's not a lot of tension on it, okay? And, and then this is a strain relief right here, okay? I, I had to add, uh, that, you remember that piece of uh, jacket that I cut off of this? I, I added it, I put it inside here because this uh, this is way too big for this. So this one is just all right, but this one, mm -mm. So, so I added it into there <laughs> as a spacer, okay? So there you go. And then it just that just goes all the way out here, all right? And then this would plug into the outlet, okay? So. So what, where we would plug it is like right here somewhere, okay? But uh, we won't plug it in until we get everything all hooked up yet, okay? So, but I think it's gonna go. It's gonna go right here. It's where it's gonna go, okay? All right, thanks me out. Let me let me tidy this up a little bit, and then I'll. Show, okay, show. for now I just got it draped on top of this fire extinguisher here, okay? Um, but like I said, it's gonna go from here to here and it'll go all the way out all the way out to here if i need need to okay all the way here or maybe like all the way somewhere here like where this where the generator is okay and then um yeah so and then uh, yeah it's going to connect to here okay where this other extension cord is um this one will probably just unplug this or, um hmm. okay yeah so the next thing all right, so yeah, 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 that's it. We're done. So this is what's left of it. Um, so now what Will Prouse did in his videos is he actually, uh, what he did is he connected this to the AC output, okay? And then he used this as a receptacle, basically. He turned this whole extension cord into a thing. And then, so so if I wanted to do that, I could. There's just not, there's no room in there anymore. <laughs> there's no room to do that. So definitely, I highly suggest going this way. Do If you're going to have, if you're going to wire like a whole, like in my case i'm doing the whole garage if you were going to power like one unit and just use a bunch of extension cords then then this is okay you could probably get away with this okay but if if not um if you're going to be powering like a lot of stuff like a lot of different circuits and stuff um and you want to have circuit breakers and stuff so you don't start fires and stuff um this is the way to go okay so um and then from here we're gonna we're gonna branch out and then have outlets everywhere okay so um the the outlet so so where this extension cord is right now we're going to make an outlet right here actually um so i'm going to have a circuit we'll probably have a circuit breaker right here and then we'll run the wire the ground the neutral and the thing and it's going to come out it's going to come out we're going to use this kind of cable the mc cable okay the the metal one okay the metal clad cable it's probably going to come out like up here and i'm going to we can no actually we can we, we can run that one down here that's what i would do run it down here okay and then along we can't use the project board anymore so we're gonna have to run it along the the um, actually we don't even have to i don't i wouldn't even put it on the wall i would just let it uh, run off the ground so i would just drape it on the ground right here and then run it to the out run it to here okay so i'm gonna make an outlet right here okay that's where all this stuff is connected to right now okay and then it's connected to a power strip right here okay so we're probably i'll put a big power strip right here basically 
um yeah and then that's probably where my evsc is going to be hooked up to also so so yeah that's what i'm going to say <laughs> evsc so the i'll probably put the outlet i'll probably just put the outlet right here right next to this red box here so we're going to run a wire here to the circuit breaker panel and we're going to make an outlet right here okay where this box is okay and then uh and then that's where all this stuff on this wall is going to connect to all the sprinkler system all that stuff i think that's what the, all this is is sprinkler system stuff and then, so the sprinklers will be powered by my inverter nice right and then uh the, what else i got my scooter charger connected to this and it's a bunch of other stuff so uh, but yeah i think this ideally this is where my evse is going to be mounted okay i'm probably going to put an evse right here or somewhere somewhere on this wall i'll put i'll mount the evse and then i'll have a holster for the for the connector and then when i want to charge i'm going to park here the plan is uh if i do get an ev all right i'll get my rav4 prime i'm going to park my rav4 prime right here all right and then the cable will be right here sitting and then i just have to open the garage pull the cable out run it under the garage and then plug it into the car all right easy oh. and then when i'm done with it i just put it back here and then there'll be a holster there'll be a holster on the wall i actually bought one i bought another one but i'll show you what it looks like um right here okay this is the holster i'm talking about and in the holster you could use it to hold the reel too like this so the um so the the j plug will be connected like this okay and you can do you can have this different ways too but i like it like this so at least here it's good okay uh, this is also designed to be outside so that you can leave it outside and if it rains the water won't get inside the connector type of thing okay but i'm not going to leave it outside <laughs> i have people coming in plugging into my my connector okay but yeah that's the plan for that's the plan for this area that would that would square this area or up okay but i think uh, I think the next thing we're going to wire, uh, the, the first circuit we're going to wire here is the dryer, okay? Oh, the, not the dryer, the, the washer, okay? We're going to run this. Uh, I'm going to run, probably break out one of these guys here. And then we're going to run a breaker, um, a circuit going, uh, yeah, actually this one, we're not even going to... Um, I'm not even going to run it against the wall because we got all this stuff back here. There's already a wire back there. Too. There's already wires running on, along this wall. So I'm just going to let it go along the wall back here and then it's going to go over there and there's going to be outlet there and it's going to connect to the washer okay that's the plan um so the washer will probably be the first run i'll do and then the next run will do this one and then we'll do the one over there okay i think that one is going to be the worst one the one that's on the other side of the garage <laughs> so let's say okay um okay so okay yeah so uh so yeah i i mounted the breaker panel this is the cover for it all right and take the cover off we, we we mounted the neutral the i installed the ground bar okay the ground bar is in there so the ground and neutral and the hot are in there and we got that connected to the ac output right here and we got we got some like strain relief uh um, clamps along the wall here so even if you were to pull this you wouldn't you probably wouldn't pull it out of the wall unless you rip this right out okay <laughs> then you have to be, you'd be putting a lot of force on it to do that okay and then we got the extension cord all right uh, let me go get it. Where is it? Where are you hiding, buddy? Oh, right here. Okay, I got the extension cord here. All right. We got the 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 plug. Okay, this is I think this is a 15, 515R uh, plug P. Okay, the R is the other side, the receptacle. Um, that's gonna plug into the outlet right here. Okay, and then and then, and then so when the inverter doesn't or when the when the battery bank gets too low it's going to draw power from the grid is what it's going to do okay or or the solar power panels okay um and i think this can draw power this can draw power straight from the solar panels and the battery bank okay so it and there's a way you can prioritize that too so you can do solar battery bank and then grid or you can do battery bank solar grid or, or you or you can just do grid okay, if, you, if you want okay um so that's the way that's the way it works all right so we got two of the connections um we got two more two more connections to go all right we got the battery all right the battery bank and i haven't i haven't done any videos on the battery yet so you know we're gonna get on that and then the the solar panel so we're gonna be installing the solar panels tomorrow so we'll probably be able to get to this pretty soon 
Uh, oh yeah, we were supposed to. So in the next video, in the next video clip, we'll be installing the uh, the breakers, okay? The the breakers and the fuses for the DC stuff, okay? So this guy, we're gonna be installing the DC breaker, and uh, so that means we're actually gonna be installing the the thing on the terminal right here, okay? This is gonna go between the battery and the and the inverter terminal, okay? So we'll actually be using up the positive right here. It's I don't like how they label this stuff. It's really hard to figure out what what's what. You have to really look at it. <laughs> See, they have labels on it, but okay, that and then we're gonna we're gonna install the fuse, okay? There's okay, yeah, we're gonna install the fuse on the wall, and then we're gonna connect. We're gonna do the we're gonna so this is the for the PV, okay? Photovoltaic. The solar panel this is the fuse for the solar panel we're going to come mount that like probably like right here okay and then um and then we're going to use a, a xt60 connector so we can easily disconnect these solar panels if we need to okay we need to do any kind of maintenance or whatever all right okay so thanks for watching so that'll be the next that'll be the next episode and then there will be an episode about the batteries and then and then we're going to install the solar panels tomorrow um but i'm going to go eat dinner right now <laughs> all right here's we go